Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody. So in general you can see Eurocurrency shows the pullback from the level that we have specified recently overall pace of the recovery. It stands good right now. But still some risks exist that uh, well steep retracement might be so as we have discussed recently. But fortunately we have few levels and uh, on, on, on our chart and some patterns that we could keep an eye on and that could give us the early uh, early a signal that uh, direction is changing and market could drop lower. As it stands right now, we also uh, can't exclude the chance that market will just proceed higher. So, uh, from on the bearish side, what we have actually significant sell off on the consumer spending data release. But as we said re recently in update, we said that market currently very fast. Uh, forget the previous numbers. So just a few days ago we have the poor non-farm proposal release. Currently market uh, forgot about it and we've got this downside action. Now it's again it's moving higher with a good pace, uh, ignoring or just leaving behind the previous numbers of the consumer spending. At the same time from technical point of view trend still stands bearish on the daily chart and we have the bearish divergence. That potentially uh, keep the risk, keep the chances for, let's call it a, some ABC reaction, some something of that sort. So theoretically, uh, this scenario is not cancelled totally, it exists, but currently I do not see that really big chance to happen with this scenario. It's more probable that we could get some upward continuation. Mostly because from the technical point of view, guys, we already have this significant retracement. Another retracement of the same sort, or currently it's not quite necessary. So, if market is, is showing the recovery, it's more chances that it could proceed higher. On the following time from chart, you could see that, as we said, this probably might be drop almost to the XOP, it's around 2063, 2050 area. This market has reached this agreement support, and we said that will be fine, some kind of the final outpost, last outpost for the bulls for a short term trading setup. Market has to stay above it to keep bullish context that we're dealing with. So drop below it will mean deeper retracement. Uh, long term, longer term bullish context will be valid, but in the shorter term it might be deeper retracement back to the 1950 area. Well, but fortunately, as you can see, market was able to stay above this area, showing the upward action. So if you have taken the position around this area, everything stands good, so you could move stops to the break even and see what will happen. Speaking on the cable, the same stuff. Recall what we said on the cable double repo sell, drop to the 140, 143, then should be some pullback, at least a pullback. And now we also see it on the cable as well. Here is not as strong action as in the euro currency. Maybe some passion will be formed here, as you can see, maybe hand shoulders or something that's sort on one or time frame. But you could also move stops to the break even because market shows the response to the level. So entry levels that we have specified work nice. Uh, but now is the question what to do next. Uh, first of all, we, we have to be sure that market will not return back and not erase the bullish context. For those who already have taken the position and move stops to the break even, it's not as a big problem just because you risk nothing and uh, the break even uh, points if market even turns down and you understand by your, what I would like to say. But for others uh, who still just considering taking the long position based on recovery, uh, some moments could be important. First of all, guys, currently market is, is entering in some resistance area on uh, euro currency. First is the first, uh, is the 50% level, 21.15 approximately. It's your likes to respond to. Uh, next one is 21.30, the major 618 resistance. Here's, by the way, it could be some extensions, uh, maybe agreements. Let's take a look at this one. What do we have here? Well, XLP here is then slightly higher. So maybe it's going to the XLP. 
OP probably already has been passed. Just to check this. Right. So you can see OP stands in the back already. So either from some of the resistance, or maybe market will reach the XOP, but the pullback could start. And once it will start, we should be careful, keep, keep an eye on the conference support. Currently, it stands at 2090, but the market will, will climb slightly higher. This also probably will move somewhere to the 121 area. <clears throat> that will be important because um, if market turns down and break the confluence, return it back inside of this, let's call it as a diamond or something of that sort. This has been formed recently. It will be clear bear sign and you should be prepared for a deeper A, B, C, top, D retracement on the daily chart. If market will stay above this area, shows maybe minor pullback, 30% retracement, or even some kind of the A, B, C, D, but will stay above the confluence. It means that this upper action is still valid and we could proceed higher maybe to the next uh, target that we have on the daily chart to the COP. In this case, in towards speaking, you could consider taking the long position uh, with the placing stuff somewhere below the confluence. Maybe you will get lucky and you will be able to buy your right at the confluence support if it will be clear retracement. Some, some clear patch and some, some, something got it cheaper to buy or something of that sort. That in two words that we would keep an eye on the euro currency. So to keep current bullish context well, market should not break this conference and should stay above the diamond. That keeps current tendency valid and uh, we are aiming on the next target on the daily COP. Breaking below it tells you that it would be better, that it would be better to not take the long position currently. But uh, with the performance that we see right now, well, it seems that, well, chance on upper continuation looks better. So this is too strong action to call it as retracement. It's probably some kind of the reversal. So that's our position on your currency.